Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing something that is on the minds of many people all over the world. And that is, should you come to Canada in 2024? Is the Canadian dream still alive? Or is Canada not worth it anymore? In this video, I will be discussing what are the factors that you should consider before moving to Canada? What are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of moving to this country so that you can make a more informed decision. So make sure that you stay till the end of this video. And before we start this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. My name is Sophia and I make videos every week on how you can move to Canada, how you can build a successful life in Canada and about life in Canada in general. So please hit the subscribe button when you subscribe to my channel, guys. It really gives me a lot of motivation to keep on doing my research and making these videos for you guys. So it will mean a lot to me. Immigrating to a new country is a deeply personal decision. Before you pack your bags and spend thousands of dollars and make this life-changing decision, it is crucial to understand what your priorities are and also to evaluate your situation. You should not be listening to me or anyone blindly without first understanding what will work for you. Before everything else, ask yourself, why do you want to move to Canada? Are you chasing job opportunities? Do you want to move to this country and start your business? Or are you seeking a better quality of life for yourself or your family members? Or maybe you don't like the situation in your current home country. Maybe you are trying to escape from war or discrimination, or you're just not happy with the current infrastructure of your government. So try and understand what is your main motivation for moving to Canada. Reflect and ask yourself these questions and only then you should make the decision of moving to Canada. Canada's job market is quite competitive. A lot of immigrants that move to the country despite having great qualifications from their home country or having extensive experience are not able to find the right job and are stuck doing minimal wage jobs that really makes having a good quality of life very difficult for them. Especially in the current situation, finding jobs is no longer as easy as it once used to be. However, there are certain sectors in Canada that always have jobs in demands. For example, the tech sector or the healthcare sector. The healthcare sector, for example, has a huge deficit. They really need people because the Canadian healthcare system currently is really struggling because of lack of professionals. So if you are someone in the healthcare sector, the chances are very high that once you move to Canada, you'll easily be able to get a high paying job and build a career for yourself. And similarly, there are a lot of other sectors that are oversaturated. So, so getting a job in those sectors will be quite challenging. So sit and evaluate your situation. If you are coming as an international student, don't go for any generic course that your agent suggests. Try and get a course that will help you get a job that is in high demand. Similarly, if you are planning to move to Canada as a permanent resident and you already have a very well established career in your home country and you're earning very well, before you make the move to Canada, see if your job or your skills are in demand in Canada. For example, if you are someone who is working in the tech industry back in your home country and you want to move to Canada, the chances are very high that you will go ahead and get a similar high paying job even in Canada. Similarly, if you are working in the finance sector in your home country and you're planning to move to Canada, there are chances that you might might have to take a step back in your career because the finance industry in Canada is heavily regulated. So you need to go ahead and get a couple of certifications before you can work in certain sectors of the financial industry. For example, it's the same thing that happened to me. They hired me for one position lower than what I was aspiring towards because I did not have any certifications in finance from Canada and I work for one of the top banks in Canada. So they were happy to pay for my certifications and and once your certification is done, you can then apply for higher positions. So this is just one example. So sit and evaluate. If you're earning very well in your home country and your whole reason of moving to Canada is 
for better job opportunities or for better pay is your job one of the high paying jobs in canada and is it in demand because if it's not then moving to canada just for better job opportunities is not really the right decision so now that you've understood your priorities and evaluated your situation let us now discuss the pros and cons of moving to canada for me personally the biggest pro is the quality of life i love how clean and well organized the country is as compared to india where i was living i was living in new delhi where the air quality is definitely not suitable for human habitations so considering that i'm very happy with the overall quality of life i think anyone who's been to canada will tell you how beautiful the nature here is so there are a lot of beautiful places for you to explore and it pains my heart to say this that unlike india wherein we've destroyed so many Many beautiful hill stations and beaches by throwing plastics and wrappers, which has spoiled the overall beauty of so many places. Unfortunately, Canada is quite well maintained and clean. So personally, for me, that is a big pro. I like going to parks and beaches where everything is so clean. I like that the roads are well maintained and clean, as compared to what I was experiencing in India. Furthermore, the country also provides various social protections. For example, if you lose your job or if you are hurt while working, you get employment. and insurance to support yourself if you are parents you get a lot of child care subsidies which i think really gives you a sense of stability because for example if i was in india and i lose my job i know i will not have any source of income however if the same thing happens in canada i know that i'll at least be getting some support from the government to take care of my day to day expenses the second thing is that though the healthcare system in canada is really dysfunctional right now there are so many challenges with people not getting the right medical attention when they need it however on the plus side it is free we do end up paying for it with our taxes but at least i like the fact that everyone has access to free healthcare irrespective of their financial status the next thing that i really like about canada is the safety that i get in this country as a single woman yes the crime rates in canada are rising these days and that's so heartbreaking but it is still way better than a lot of other countries around the world of course there are special situations and special areas that you have to be wary of however in general as a woman i do not feel unsafe in this country i think every woman who's lived in india will relate to this it's, it's not really a great experience taking public transport be it trains subways or buses there's always this fear of getting harassed or if teasing passing sleazy comments or even simply staring at you that clearly makes you very uncomfortable however that is something that you usually do not experience in canada so for me i find it mentally very relaxing and i feel that i'm able to enjoy my life more furthermore i have another friend who decided to move from india with her kids and she was sharing that as a mom of two little girls she was always scared in india of leaving them alone of she used to drive them personally to school she used to take them to the park take them back however she was sharing that in canada she's got more mental peace because because overall the safety of children is given a lot of importance so she can just put her kids on the school bus or let them go to the park on their own or or even allow them to take a bike ride to their friends home something that was not really feasible for her to do in india the next advantage of moving to canada is its easier immigration process now compared to a lot of european countries wherein if you are going there to study or if you're going there on a work permit it's usually very difficult to convert that into a permanent residence however though it's become slightly more difficult than what it used to be getting your permanent residence in canada is still quite easy if you studied or worked in the country for a couple of years it's usually very easy to convert your status into permanent residence or you even have the option to move to other provinces that participate in the pnp program and get nominated for permanent residence furthermore unlike a lot of european countries wherein your parents cannot move to the country with you or cannot stay with you for an extended period of time canada does give you the option of getting your parents over through family sponsorship or even get 
inviting your sibling over by giving them extra points for having a sibling who is a permanent resident or citizen in Canada. So I think that is a great benefit because it might take a while, but eventually you do have the option of reuniting with your family members here in Canada. Another good thing about Canada is that it is not a country that actively participates in war. So usually you do get a sense of security and safety in this country as compared to a lot of other countries that currently are war stricken or going through such a difficult phase. The weather in Canada can be quite challenging. You only get a few months of summer and sunshine. Most of the time it's grey skies and snowstorms and the days are quite short. You hardly get to see the sun. The skies are grey all the time and it can be very gloomy and depressing. Like winter depression in Canada is a real thing. A lot of people struggle with loneliness, mental health issues or depression during this time because this is indeed a very difficult time. You don't get any sunlight for days, which really takes a toll on your overall health. You feel lack of motivation. You feel like sleeping all the time and you feel so lazy and drained. So if you are planning to move to Canada from a nice, warm, sunny country, country take this into consideration prepare yourself mentally understand what steps you can take so that you are able to survive the winters in a better way and ensure that you are still productive the next major disadvantage according to me is of course the difficulty a lot of people face with integrating into the canadian culture or making new friends a lot of people suffer from loneliness in canada and i've had conversations with so many immigrants who want to move back to their home country 
because they feel like they do not have any friends or they do not have the social circle or friend circle that they used to have back in their home country so again come prepared for that are you someone who is prepared to put yourself out there and take the initiative to make new friends also try and get into the habit of enjoying your own company or developing new hobbies so that even if it takes you a little bit of time to make new friends you will not get depressed and you will still have a good time so i would like to conclude this video by telling you that canada isn't perfect like every other country in the world it does have its flaws though things have become a little more difficult than what it used to be once the country does provide a lot of benefits however it is essential to weigh them against the potential challenges that you may have to face if you are considering moving to canada in 2024 take the time to thoroughly research and reflect on your personal situation and priorities the decision to move to a new country can be a life altering one and it can change your life for the better or for the worse so it really should be made with careful consideration and i really hope that this video has given you more insight and will help you make a more informed decision thank you so much for watching till the very end and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also share this with your other friends and family members who are considering moving to canada so that they can make a more informed decision as well thank you so much for watching see you in my next video